When you solve your murder, you'll get your key to the other side. That can't be me they're talking about. I didn't overdose. Maybe somebody was after you for your money. <laughs> Daniel? Whoa, 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 wait. You're the Daniel, as in Lorna's ghost boyfriend who was taken? Daniel, how did you get back here? Was Edison with you? Don't crowd him. Can't you see he needs a second? What's with the Clarence bin accessories? Daniel died on New Year's Eve, 1999. You poor thing. You stay in the clothes that you died in forever. It's one of the rules. Check the app. Don't rules kind of take all the fun out of being dead? Not supposed to be fun, so. I can't believe you're here. Daniel, was Edison with you? Okay, you all clearly have a lot to unpack here, so I'm just gonna get back to the whole solving my murder thing. Charlotte, you really should, no. okay. Are you Edison, Charlotte? The Reapers have him, I'm sorry. What? Wait, the woman who took Edison was a Reaper? Yes, they control the hotel, they make the rules, and they took us for breaking those rules. Wait, which rules did they say? I got away from wherever they're holding me, but Edison wasn't so lucky. He sacrificed himself to keep us all safe. I'm really sorry. He's never coming back. We need to talk about this Reaper thing. No, right now we need to focus on Grace. Edison was my friend too. But Reapers or no Reapers, the first 48 hours of a case are critical, Charlotte, you know that. Okay, so your family has an empire. If you're dead now, who's next in line to inherit the money? Wait, hold on. My family's a whole situation, but they wouldn't literally kill me. But someone did kill you, and we have to start somewhere, so... Okay, fine. Um, I don't know exactly who'd get the money. Maybe we should talk to my cousin. Your cousin? Malik. He's my best friend and financial advisor. Oh. I have an idea. Okay, am I in the right place? There's a real snobby doorman downstairs. Obviously, I sent you the address. What did you, Charlotte? Uh, wow, I, I, I thought that you, I thought you went through the door. I thought that you left. I thought I was never gonna see you again. I know. I'm sorry, I, I just didn't know how to tell you after everything you did for me. I had to stay and help other teens solve their murders. Wait, wait, wait. She can see you? Oh, who's that? Oh, uh, Allie's a medium. She can talk to ghosts. I guess she can only see me. <laughs> okay, Allie, I need your help with my friend Grace. Acquaintance. Grace Walker, that heiress? Yeah. Right, of course she didn't know D. She was murdered. Wow. Uh... Okay, how can I help? For the record, this whole thing, real weird. Grace. Fine. I need to talk to my cousin Malik about this whole inheritance situation. Got it. How? Allie, that's it, that's it. Can I help you? Uh, I'm Allie. I'm a friend of Grace's, and I I'm wondering no, if- No, you're not. I knew everybody Grace called a friend, and you were not one of them. Yeah, okay, you're right. Look, I know this is gonna sound crazy, but uh, hear me out. I'm in contact with Grace's ghost, and I'm just trying to help. Look, the last thing we need is some fake psychic trying to rip us off. She hasn't been gone for a day. Tell him I know he took Mr. Huggles to his freshman dorm. Okay, uh, Grace has to tell you about Mr. Huggles in a dorm. How did you? Grace is the only one who knew. She swore she would take that to her grave. To be fair, I did. Look, I know this is weird, but I really am trying to help Grace. Is there somewhere we can talk? Knowing about a stuffed pan is one thing. If you really can't help Grace, what do you need to know? Grace said something about an inheritance. And <sighs> what is it? Grace's inheritance? It was supposed to come to shares in the corporation. I was going to talk to her about it today. The company's been bleeding money. Those shares are going to be worthless soon. There's no money? That can't be right. Why wouldn't Uncle Darren tell me? Why didn't you tell me? I was trying to get the board to approve a merger that would help get us out of the red. They'll never go for that. And Grace is, was, gonna be the deciding vote. And without her, it won't happen. That's not even the worst part. I mean, the story, that she overdosed? The morality clause. There's a morality clause built into the contract that says if any member of our family acts inappropriately, the board can vote to throw us all out. The board's dream come true. They've wanted us gone for years, but Darren was holding out for me. The board's gonna hold a vote in two days, with or without us. No merger, no money. I can't let that happen. We have to fix this fast. 
Not for me, but for everyone else. Malik. Give me a minute. Yeah. Let's take a look around. What are you doing? Just looking. You never know. Were you this nosy when you were alive, or is this a ghost thing? Metzger and Schechter Jewelers. Wait, didn't he just say his family's broke? Why is he buying jewelry? I don't know. Or maybe he was selling. Selling. No, he wouldn't. Grace, wait. Cool, cool. I'll just, I'll stay here. No! That's where I kept my mom's necklace. Wait. Necklace? What, was it valuable? Like the kind of valuable that someone would steal to sell? Yeah, but it's my mom's. Malik is the only one I ever trusted with the code to the safe. He's also the only one who knew that the money was gone, so if he knew how valuable the necklace was... I hate to say it, but I think we have our first suspect. 